in this module we shall look at the actual use of an islamic credit card and its implications for payment by the card holder especially the card fee and of course the payment of the monthly statement balance now we start with an example of uh, a credit limit of uh, 100000 dirhams and the card fee is actually 6000 6000 dirhams for sim for the sake of simplicity we would like to assume this figure which gives us a monthly card fee of 500 dirhams which is quite a realistic uh, figure to assume for a card fee in the market of the United Arab Emirates. Now this is a familiar picture for you. We have referred to it previously. There is a card holder, there is a card provider and using the credit card, the card holder makes numerous transactions at various places and uh, we saw that you know this all this record comes to the card holder at the end of the month or at the start of the new month in the form of a statement now if we assume that this card holder actually makes uh, only three transactions in this month transaction number one was made at store one for 1500 dirham the card holder bought something say clothes okay another transaction was made uh, at store 2 the card holder maybe bought some groceries and uh, 45 dirhams were spent on a kiosk maybe uh, the person wanted to have a quick coffee or any cold drink and so the total uh, statement uh, balance would be 8,000 uh, 1,890 dirhams. Now, if the customer, the credit card holder, pays this amount by the payment date, he would be a transactor. So he will not have to pay any interest on this amount of 1800 something however if the card holder is a revolver ie he does not pay the full monthly statement balance but rather prefers to pay only a part of it if that happens then the customer would have to pay a manage uh, um, uh, a card fee for the month which would be 500 dirhams let us assume that the card holder actually pays only 200 dirhams out of the uh, monthly statement balance in that case the next month's monthly statement will include the following of course new transactions the customer the card holder would be making during that period plus the balance carried forward from the previous month which would be the previous month's monthly statement balance minus 200 dirhams which the card holder paid so this would be 1690 plus the monthly fee of 500 dirham so that would be on the monthly statement for this card holder following the saga of him becoming a revolver now this figure you know in this example uh, this might sound very exorbitant in this example actually we are facing 29.5 5-8% per month return which is a lot of money but this is an exaggerated kind of hypothetical example in reality 
this figure, the return figure could be quite reasonable and actually in some cases it could be quite favorable for the card holder. Remember, we are referring to an Islamic credit card, not a conventional credit card in this example. Now, let us uh, use an example where the use of the credit card by the revolver could be actually quite favorable. If the monthly statement balance was 90,000 dirhams, remember this customer had a credit limit of 100,000 dirhams, so 90,000 is still within that limit. Now, if the cardholder uh, decided to pay only 1,000 out of it, we are using a hypothetical figure, normally the card providers they ask you to pay 5 percent, the minimum payment is about 5 percent of the balance, but in this example we are using just a figure. The conclusions would be valid even if we put 5000 dirhams over here. Now in that case, the next month's monthly balance would include new transactions, 89,000 balance carried forward from the previous month and the monthly fee of 500 dirhams. This would amount to only 0.56% per month or roughly about 6.74% return on an annual basis. This actually looks quite reasonable. And if this whole thing is uh, studied for one year for this customer, we might find that this customer is benefiting a lot from its or her, his or her holding of an Islamic credit card. In many cases, Islamic credit cards are actually a lot more beneficial in terms of economic benefits for their card holders.